today I'm showing you how to make a fire poker. I'm suggesting this as your first project because you're going to need one to manage the fire in your forge anyway. Before we get to the forge, I want to clarify that the purpose of this video is not to give you detailed instructions on how to make the exact fire poker that I'm about to show you. Instead, I want to give you just enough instruction so that you know what you're trying to make and you can go start blacksmithing as quickly as possible. Because when you're first starting out, the most important thing that you can do is to make something. Anything. It's easy to get overwhelmed or lost in one particular part of the process, so I'm going to give you a really macro look at one of my personal favorite designs of fire pokers to make. I'll show you the process, and then I'll point out which steps or parts of the tool you could make differently if you wanted to. The plan is to make a poker that's an almost exact copy of the one I use in my forge. This one's made from 3 8 inch round stock and has a wrapped leaf handle design and a simple rake style head. The stock I cut to make a poker today is 3 8 inch round, just like this, and 2 feet and 6 inches long. Don't forget to wear safety glasses when you're hammering. For projects like this, I typically begin with the handle end, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm forging the leaf out first, and then I'll draw back until I have a long enough stem to wrap around the handle. To forge a leaf, draw a point at the end of a rod, then move to the base of the leaf and forge the stem before you flatten it. After you spread the leaf, chisel the veins, and then turn it vein side down on a piece of wood and use a ball peen hammer to give it some shape so it's not just flat like a piece of paper. Drawing out 10 or 12 inches of stem can take a fair bit of time and muscle if it's your first project. So if you choose to go with this design, just remember to work in short sections and keep the rod square until it's almost the exact size you want. Then round it by hammering straight down on each corner with lighter and lighter blows as the rod gets smoother and closer to truly round. Once I finish preparing my long stem, I start my wrap by forming the loop of the handle over the horn. Then I continue pulling the stem around the base stock until I reach my leaf, which I make sure is aligned with the loop of the handle. I clean it off with a wire brush and then apply a hot wax finish before allowing this end to air cool so I can hold it with my bare hand as I start the other end of the poker. If you want to try a simpler handle design, twists are a great option. Just remember the key to an even twist is an even heat. Now that my handle has cooled off, I'll start my rake head by drawing a short taper and then flattening the end of my rod back about 4 inches. Then all I have to do is bend the head to one side at a right angle, put a slight back curve on my scraping head, and we're done. Fire pokers are a very simple tool, so even if your first one isn't pretty, you should still be able to use it to tend your fire with no problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and it inspired you to go out and make a fire poker from start to finish. You need to get your hands dirty until you are able to formulate intelligent questions about how to improve your skills. During the next couple of videos, we'll be slowing down and getting into some basic hammering form and forging techniques. So until then, stay in motion and keep forging.